So let's talk about the SAM CLI because I said at the beginning of this uh, SAM section that SAM is both a CLI and a CloudFormation macro. So the SAM CLI makes it easy to run package and deploy serverless applications or lambdas. Uh, and these are its CLI commands. I don't think you need to learn them all, but it's good to go through them uh, and get some hands-on with this kind of stuff. Uh, so starting at the top, we have SAM build, and that prepares the Lambda source uh, and the code to be deployed uh, by packaging it for upload. So it doesn't upload it, it just packages it uh, into an artifact. The next one is SAM deploy, so that uploads the Lambda package code as an artifact and then deploy. If you're wondering what an artifact is, that's just a fancy word for a zip file. Um, and then the next one here is SAM init. So if you have yet to start a project, you could run this and it's gonna give you a bunch of default folders and files. And it's gonna be set up for, uh, for a serverless project. I would think that this would be um, set up for the serverless application repository. So whatever default files you need there, I bet it would set it up for you. Then you have generate event. Um, I think this is for testing. I've never used it, but it, it, you get different payloads uh, for your event sources. Then you have invoke, uh, which runs a single Lambda locally. Then you have start API that runs your serverless application locally for quick development. Then you have start Lambda, which is very similar to invoke, but looking at the two, I would probably say you'd more likely want to run start Lambda than invoke. Um, so that is another one there. Then you have logs, which fetches um, I, I would think from CloudTrail would fetch the logs for that Lambda function so you can see it locally without having to log into the console. Uh, and the last three um, really have to do with the serverless application repository packaging a serverless application. So as package is for packaging a serverless application. Uh, so it creates a zip and uploads it. It seems like it kind of does build and deploy in one go. Um, but again, for serverless application. Uh, then you have publish, so that's going to publish it to the, ac the actual serverless application repository. Then you have validate, uh, which just checks, I think, syntax errors for your SAM templates. So there you go. That's the big rundown there.